Yeah. <laughs> what up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Yep, again, no goggles on. Last video, I didn't have any goggles in. You guys were like, Bob, you look weird, dude. Get your goggles on. Well, got the contacts in yet again today, and I got me a little bit of a hair trimmage. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yesterday I uploaded a video and it showed what could happen, what would happen, what could possibly happen if you jam your gun into the ground and you stuff mud and dirt in there, and what might happen if you don't clean it out before you fire it. Now, this is what this video is all about and how YouTube responded to that video and how they haven't changed even a day later. So, it's been 24 hours since that video has been up. And it is still demonetized. This isn't the first time this has happened to the channel. And there's some reasons why it's demonetized, but we'll get to that in just one second. Before we get into the main, you know, my rant, the main body of this video and why I'm a little ticked off, I have to give my condolences. I have to, I have to share this with you guys. The Nebraska flood, guys, is horrible. I don't know if you guys have really got on the internet. Uh, the news isn't covering it, probably to the magnitude that it needs to be covered, I would say. So Flair and Ducks, and now I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna play my part because it's for the greater good is, guys, if you guys wanna help these victims of the flood, and I mean they lost cattle, they lost homes, they lost property, they lost crop ground, they lost implements, anything all and above, these poor people. So long story short, Ducks Waterfowl has this shirt available, and it's for the victims of the Nebraska flood. If you guys want to step in and play your part as well, all you got to do is pick up one of these t-shirts. 100% of the profits go to these victims. It's a local foundation in Omaha that Flair has partnered up with. That's why I'm stepping in and just trying to help, guys. So if you guys want to help as well, I urge you guys, please help these poor people out and pick up this shirt. I will link it at the top of the description. So, let's get into my rant here. There's two types of YouTube videos out there. One of them comes from a vlogger like myself and from a lot of the other YouTubers like myself that do daily uploads or every other day uploads. Basically, a scheduled uploading rhythm of vlog channel, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be just a vlog channel. It can be just a good YouTube channel that has good morals, never spreads like bad behavior, never promotes bad behavior behavior and never does a good youtube channel ever want its audience to be harmed <clears throat> so what i'm getting at is there is a ton i mean probably millions of viral videos out there that youtube has to watch and what they've done is they've implemented this system that scans the uploads like when i'm uploading it'll scan it and if it detects too many uh search word keywords search words title words, description words, anything out there that it thinks that it could be harmful to the audience and not suitable for advertisers, it will demonetize it and it won't allow ads to be displayed on it. Basically protecting the advertisers because long story short, there was a big battle that happened between the advertisers and YouTube probably last year, the year before, they said, hey man, we do not want to advertise on these YouTube channels anymore because they are bad and they're bad for kids and all this stuff, right? Well, yesterday, this is, this is where my rant comes from. Yesterday's video, if you read it, it says, Shotgun Barrel Plugged with Mud Test. Pretty much, that's the title. And in the thumbnail, you see the plugged shotgun barrel tip plugged. And you know that I'm gonna fire it, obviously. So what really just ticks me off is that entire video was completely based around safety. There wasn't literally two minutes that went by in that video that I didn't say the word safety. The whole video was to remind myself and to remind you guys to put it in our heads how important it is to check your barrel if you ever think that you've dug it into the ground somehow. Maybe you've tripped. You get the point. And YouTube still, right now, look at this, has that video demonetized and it's probably, what are we sitting at, like 28 hours? Yeah, so you see the top video right there? That's the video. You see the yellow little money sign, and then you see the videos below it. See the green money sign, green money sign? I hope that's focused for y'all. That means that video is still demonetized. Doesn't matter what, how many views it gets. It doesn't matter anything. There will not be an ad on it because the computer system still thinks that it's not 
good. Now, what, what happens here is when they demonetize, it gives you this little, a little choice of a button. It says, request manual review. And basically, in a nutshell, what that says, within like seven days, they're going to try to get a human being to actually go to scope out the situation and see if it's suitable for advertisers. Well, by that time, by the time they get around to it, the video ain't getting any more views. It's already done and over. The first two days of that video's lifespan, the brunt of its lifespan, where it's actually gonna earn you money, it's gone. Even though the video was about safety, promoted safety, that video could and probably will at some point in its lifespan of a YouTube video, will probably save somebody's life, if not multiple person's lives, and, and will probably prevent a lot of people from getting harmed and injured. Golly, this is what's wrong with YouTube. This is what's wrong. They, they rely on computers to do a human's work. Long story short, it's not easy when a computer is your boss. What you think, bub? Mama. Mama. What you think, sis? Oh, you just eating your pizza? Oh, yum, yum. But guys, it's not that I lost a bunch of money or something. That's not why I'm upset. It's not like I lost a ton of money because this video isn't monetized. That's not what I'm complaining about. I could see this video getting demonetized. Maybe I put some graphic stuff in there like cleaning a goose or cleaning a deer or whatever. But why would I ever promote gun violence or gun uh, unsafe gun situations? Why would I ever do that? Whew. had to take me a little calm down break. I was getting heated there for a minute talking to you guys back here. The kids, they will calm me down. It gets me back, gets me back to my dad mode. But yeah, is, uh, is this deal fair that my videos are demonetized, especially when they promote safety, gun safety, and, and good traditions, good morals here on the channel? You know, it's kind of sad. Yeah, it might be a little unfair, but in the end, I can't change it on my own. Who can change it? Who knows? But this is the reason why. All my long-term viewers, all my old subs that's been here for a while, you guys know when and why Ducks Waterfowl was created. It was created by Flair and I, and it was a way for us to earn a few bucks and still do what we love because two years ago, the demonetization was horrible. I mean, it was bad. It was happening. It was happening to me literally on every single video. It seemed like, and Flair came up with a br brilliant idea, and he's like, "Yo, uh, you're not making any money. You're not gonna make any money off these videos. We gotta make you some money so you can keep your channel going, keep it growing because people love your channel. So that's what we need to do, and that's what we did. So again, I wanna I, I wanna give a big, big, big thank you to you guys without your support by purchasing Ducks Waterfowl stuff, the channel, I can guarantee you, would not be here today. It wouldn't, because I wouldn't have the support system to keep doing it, you know, financially. So, thank you guys so much. And now, what's great about this, what's great about Ducks Waterfowl and the theory that we created to go around YouTube and say, hey, we're gonna make some money this way because you guys, you guys obviously don't appreciate us enough. I mean, come on, if they did, they would look into it a, a little more. I mean, come on. So now Ducks Waterfowl has grown to where now we can help other people. Ducks Waterfowl as a company can reach out and help other people just like the Nebraska flood victims. That is what's great about YouTube. And, and that's what's great about these channels just like mine. We can build communities to do the greater good, to be the greater good. So. Thank you guys so much. I know I got on a rant there and I get frustrated, you know. I'm sure a lot of a lot of you can imagine as a creator, as a YouTuber, we put a lot of time. I put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of time for my family, a lot of thought, a lot of money into doing these videos. It, it costs me a lot of money. Not everybody can just go out and ruin a shotgun, you know. Um, not saying that it was a new shotgun by no means. It was barely probably worth even 200 bucks. But, you get what I'm saying. You know where I'm going. But again, without you guys, the subscribers, the viewers, YouTubers like myself would not make it. We wouldn't be here. We would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. I have some awesome, awesome stuff coming like I promised on yesterday's video. We have, uh, we have, 
we have some more videos just like that coming along. So I hope you guys are ready for them. So stay tuned for those. And check out this clip right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I put that up on my Instagram today, just a sneak peek of, uh, it's probably gonna be Sunday's video, Saturday or Sunday, it'll be coming up. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can guess what we did and what all went down there. I can promise you one thing, it got very, very Western, if you can imagine. So be expecting some new guns on the channel, be expecting some new content. I'm not stopping, the steam engine is not shutting down or cooling down, fellas and gals. But like I said in the beginning of this video, please guys, if you're interested in giving a hand to the Nebraska flood victims, you can do so by going down in the description, hitting the link at the top of the description, and picking you up one of these shirts. I'm telling you, the more of you that will pick up one of these shirts, the more people that each and every one of your dollars are going to help. So... Thank you guys so much. It feels so great to have you guys here. But we will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.